All right, recap. Lama Shin 18, Oath Day, 4707 AR, to at least Lama Shin 28, Sunday, downtime. Last session, we hit up several downtime activities. Tessarini, Azrael, Daverick, and Tug availed themselves of the services of the Pixie's Kitten. <laughs> Tessarini added, added several spells to Nikos. Gerlock added a spell to his formula book. Ari Monster decided what to do in regards to building up Thistletop. Kaylin finished some training with Alec. A trip to Magnamar to visit Valorant's Adventurer Boutique resulted in R.A. Monstra cashing in large amounts of their coin to increase the level of enchantment on many of their equipped magical items. Yeah. Including armor for Nikos. <laughs> yep. Yes, I already What did you get? A fly and a crow. <laughs> That's awesome. I yeah, really like the way he drew Astrid. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Can I see? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh
Oh, really? Where are the regular ones going? Uh, I don't know. I don't worry about it. Those are dragged by people? Yeah. Oh, I forgot what they were. Oh, they're dragged by people. Because we have those, uh, those dragged by people. Oh, that's I, mean, I know a sedan, yeah. a sedan chair is the one where you sit in a little cubby and, and there's two you. people uh, people in the front and people in the back. And those are probably expensive. They take those forward. are power ones. Uh, rickshaws are both. It's just okay. pulled or cycle rickshaw. Okay. Oh, I actually don't need it. Whatever will get me that fastest. Uh, the rickshaw would be fastest. Or Delia is, one of the, is the southernmost district of Mecklenburg. Oh, that's a way of thought. Oh yeah, the southernmost district. Are you coming with me? You can't let you wander around by yourself. It's a bold plan. What about this one? What are you looking at? Yeah, we're going to find this author who wrote this one book I had. It's about a adventurer who's a bard at a magical instrument. I don't remember what this magical instrument was. I don't know that the. Not actually saying in your book what it is her instrument was. written about him seven years ago. So I imagine Astro might be excited because we might have to do some lessons. <laughs> Alright, so we're off. Lost? That's where we lost all of it. Alright, so you guys go out. You two find the rich shawl that was summoned for you. What to, sir? Well, we are going to see the author. Thranwell Sinuel. Thranwell Sinuel. I think I've heard of him. Down in uh, Ordelia, yeah? Yes. It's fun. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you had a John as a rickshaw driver. Yeah, he doesn't. It's just a uh, typical street dialect of Magnamar. Oh. oh. <laughs> you guys, Tom grew up on the street, yeah? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get us there as quickly as possible, please. A nice tip. Right on. Hop in. Up in, he takes off running. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you guys are now on your way to the Ordelia district. What does everyone else want to do? I am finishing training my horse in combat. Okay, uh, so you have plenty of time to do that. So make a handle animal check. Okay. Ow, fuck. I will pull out the core. Pull my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be <laughs> Like, I trained him to ride, should I train him in combat or? Get on your back. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's different with him being a predator or a pack. Well, to learn and obey tricks, he has to still be trained. Right. So, probably be safe, be better, or like the less DC if like I him. I've heard about it, but I didn't notice it. Like I'm guessing? The first scene I, mean, I don't know. know. Since you took a long time, I get to re-roll, right? Super <laughs> speedy. Sure, I'll allow you. It's not like it has any sense. Huh. Like, show, like, <laughs> 18. It's like, 18. Awesome. And you've been spending more time on this, right? Oh. Yeah, right. I started, started on the 26th okay. of Roba. It's just like stylish as well. Okay. Yeah. It is a little bit cheesy, but in like the best way. Yeah. Okay. Like it's very much that style of okay, so it's just a Since you've taken technically longer than a normal amount of time, I'm going to make the DC a little bit lighter than it usually is. So you do hit it. So they have like two Just. So like yeah. Shooting. Thanks for the re-roll. I rolled 11 yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, you've been driving it. We're in the take. So he has, yeah. she has a cool. combat now? What does that entail? That gives your horse these tricks really of good. attack, come, defend, box, down, spaces. guard, and heal. Mm -hmm. Which is a weird list for a horse. And he's like the master. Could you imagine a horse healing? You said attack, heal. Let's see, it's um, attack, come, defend, down, guard, and heal. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and train Alec in it. Um, combat as well. Does Alec have any of those tricks already? Heal, attack, dynamic, I'll put it out. Okay. Alright, so yes, uh, and how many tricks does he have in total? How many tricks does he have? How many tricks? He has the I mean, if he rides four. I mean, they're very similar actors. Yeah, mine already have come and heal as part of writing. Come heal, okay. stay. I don't then know. That means the DC would have been even more. Okay. Cool. That's 
terrible. <laughs> that would have been such a waste of all these weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also. Kept calling, uh, what's his name, baby kid? Like, you were the same fucking bitch. Well, Bonnie got he naturally guards me, but I can try to command him to guard someone else. If I'm in combat training, so I, I can't guard someone else. Correct? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So, yeah. So, how many <laughs> chances does he have? He has a uh, total of so four. That's, four. Okay. that's ride, that's heal, that's attack, and flank. And about halfway through, he leans over to me and just advance. The guy with the. Actually, four rule book. He's like, that's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see how many tricks he has. Uh, so, I'm going to say, what is your. Uh, what is your uh, hunter level? My hunter level right now, I think, is two, three. I love that too, but multiple times. So he will max out at eight tricks. So yes, you can train him. Okay, so I'm going to do that. He's like, well, works. And with my handle animal, 15. Natural 20, so that makes it 35. Huh? It's going to spray everywhere. Okay. He now has those tricks in addition. Okay. Tricks in addition. I forgot. I have the scroll of flaming spear. That's fifth level. So I never... I got it before I was big enough to use it, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> Can I feed that one to Nikas? Let me check. I'm just reading through my notes now. <laughs> I should probably do that, too. You don't remember um, I really don't, and I haven't <laughs> taken notes in a while. Yeah. Since the shadow yeah. clock. Flaming Sphere is not a witch spell, so you cannot use it. Okay. You Can anyone in our group use it with proficiency? Not proficiently. Uh, he could fake it and make it, but that's it. Good night. Anyone who has uh, used magic device can fake it. But he probably has I'm the best. Jordan, would you like the, um... Oh, crap. I still need a few stuff. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to track down information about, uh, R.E. Monstra. Okay, make a diplomacy check to gather information. Well, maybe I'll just sell it then, because it's worth 1,125 gold pieces. Sell what? The oh, scroll. scroll. Flaming Spear. Flaming Spear. You did too much opium, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do I have anything that lets me re-roll one? Probably not. I want to do opium. I never get to do opium. You <laughs> did slightly earlier. Well, I don't know about that one. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Yeah, that's good. 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 I love the Pathfinder game where your team of adventurers become drug dealers. Like, breaking bad. <laughs> Start cooking their own. <laughs> okay, so what is your total add up to? 11. 11. 11. Okay. You canvass the city asking about, uh, in local pubs, taverns. <laughs> Takes you about an hour, but eventually you find a guy who looks like a grizzled um, old war veteran who's uh, nursing a tinkered of ill in a less than clean establishment, who says, yeah, I know a bit about them. What you want? Location, general information, whatever you got. Well, the word is, is they are making their way east <laughs> along the turn, no, 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 that's wrong. Wrong campaign. Oh, is this right? <laughs> no, it's the is right this right area. Right. I just yeah. need to yeah, know. Thank you. I need to know the name of the river. I think it's a Terran Dorok, but I'm pretty sure I'm actually wrong. You'd also think I'd have a better memory of this game because I rewatch it to edit it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> nope, doesn't help me. Maybe you're in editing like brain and not in like. You know, like I'm pretty sure it's this. It's but true. I'm you're just like, well. okay, <laughs> dead air. That doesn't work. <laughs> it works perfectly well. Yeah. Hey, Ezra. Well, I wrote down the infernal yeah. commands for my. Well, Along the Yanda Bakari River Road. <laughs> Guess I was very wrong. Notes, 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 notes. notes. Okay. I mean, you have pencil and paper. You can actually take notes. Oh. Do you do you want do you want an actual little notebook? I have one. It only costs a dollar. I have one that has a single piece of. 
Here. Here. Oh, yeah, I do have. I have. Yeah. yeah. Where's your, where's your shit? That's excellent. So. Word is they've been uh, knocking over travelers and bandit gangs alike. Robin Luden. Robin Luden? <laughs> yep, Luden German. Luden <laughs> <laughs> Luden River. Down the Bakari River. Say that again. Down the Bakari River. Why? Yan Y A N D A B A K A R I R I V E R. Revere. Yes, Revere. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Can be that one right there. <laughs> that's what you should have that behind word. you. Yeah, that's what you, yeah. This. This room is just going to become your pathfinder room. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, now I have to take this part up. Wah, wah. Poor map. Uh, it's going to seem better than this. Yeah, like, the day it was fresh. <laughs> Mint. Right. Uh, yeah, you could put, like, shelves in here and have all your books lined up and then maps. <laughs> I don't and... think that's what we do. Plus, while I'm working on my stuff, I have to come all the way downstairs to get my stuff. Right. I, I thank him and I motion to the bartender and give him a gold coin and say, "This this man's got a few drinks around me." Excellent. The uh, bartender pockets the coin. <laughs> you can only assume that he does exactly as you say he does, or felt instruct him to do. Next. I promised I would take Aaron Barrett to the zoo. Okay. Can I come with you? <laughs> yes. yes. Right. I, leave, I leave Alec uh, at Valtteri House because I'm going to come next door and there's a chance. I don't think the zoo would be a good place for a giant wolf. I know. That's why he's staying at Valtteri House. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy staying there without lots of people. I've never been to a zoo before. You No. I went to this one all the time when What's I was that a child. zoo? Well, there's interesting rare animals and monsters. There's some exotic taxidermy. You're liking Barks. Those sorts of things. All right, you got it. You get the whole Barrett family, or is it just? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Aaron, Kaylin, and I. Okay. So you, Kaylin, and Aaron, just make monsters. your way to the Lord Mayor's Menagerie in the Capital District, right? Yep. Of Magnamar. What if you be a hurry? There are any of you guys taking the sights? It's uh, a very so interesting display. As they call it the woman. as real estate, there is a large Sorry, selection of taxidermy oh, trophies That's right. of various animals and creatures, and some very interesting, notable creatures, such as on display a blinded ruby-eyed basilisk. You guys know that his eyes of it are ruby because they are they have been extracted from the creature and are on display outside of his cage. Um, a fist-sized metal spider that the plaque reads that is from the Numeria Feldales. Uh, there is a viable egg of a tarn glenworm. A whole family of albino donkey rats. And a creature that is labeled as Prince Mandali, a seemingly tame 14-foot-tall 14, 14 ape. <laughs> it's very interesting, isn't it, Aaron? Yes, it's very interesting. <laughs> People making funny faces at me. <laughs> this is my little kid voice. What do you want with it? Oh, it's great. My little kid voice. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> Is it interesting to anyone else that, like, Azrael's, like, one of the youngest, but he seems kind of like an old man when he talks half the time? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's just very serious. A young Fraser. Very emotional <laughs> too. <laughs> but you guys go through. It, it's, um, it's all the the gunpowder and gun smoke. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Well, it's human just a little emo. He had to grow fast. <laughs> the young Barrett is basically has you by the hand and is just leading you hither and thither and yon, looking at all the sights. <laughs> and he's trying to like take care of the children. <laughs> Wait, I'm not the you're like, when I was young, and you're like 15. Uh, yeah, I was a child. Uh, he seems to be creative of a boundless potential of energy. So, 
Erin, which creature was your favorite today? I like the metal spider from the Maria. That one looked creepy. Yes, that one's very interesting. Do you suppose it's poisonous? I have no idea. Did it say on the plaque? The plaque did not say. It just says what it is, not it says that it is it runs by a power of unknown origin. Does it build webs? If so, what do the webs make it don't have out a web. of? It does not build webs. No. It just skitters along. Uh, its body, its hard planes of metal, um, its eyes look to be some kind of metallic uh, glass lens that have a faint red glow behind them. They shift in various different angles. Is it a construct? Uh, it is a very I mean, I'm not there, so touristic -y looking construct. So, if it's made out of metal, do you suppose that it eats things? It doesn't look normal. Do you think it needs to eat? What looks normal in our world? Um, no, no. I don't expect a metal spider. I wonder what it's thinking about. Has it been made? Or has it always been like this? Does it have little Did metal spider it? carrots? Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> oh, it's skittering around. <laughs> it's very interesting. Can we find things? You're not there. You're on a right show. With Dabber. <laughs> I wonder if it could have little metal spider babies. So, Dabber, what sort of? I would be horrified to think that. that. No, no, I don't think. I don't think we need spiders. Are we don't like spiders? I've had to tolerate spiders, <laughs> but I'd rather not encounter any more than I have to. The best part. What's your favorite animal here? What I know who is, what I've heard of. Make a knowledge local check. Was he in a Pathfinder Society or making that up? He wasn't. He was just an I don't know. was kind of interesting. Yes, that's my favorite too. Fifteen. I'm convinced he's smarter than you. Heard his name off and on. Or at least Mostly people use him when they're comparing a singer or a playwright or a player of instruments. Musician? Musician! Yeah, <laughs> and just saying, you know, so and so is almost like blah 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 blah. But you guys have a jolly good time. Eventually, Aaron does start to peter out, and he gets to the point where he's doing the, the thing that kids do when they're holding your hand and still trying to keep going, even though they're running out of energy. And you're starting to get to the point where you feel like you're holding him up more than you're being led around. Alright, I think it's time for us to go home. No, I, I want to see the, oh, yeah, that's the, the, the thing over there. We'll come back again. The Aladile. <laughs> or or Crocagator. <laughs> no, I think we're going home now. Okay. You ever on my shoulder? Yes. I think you might lose that battle. You hoist them up. Yeah. It just kind of clamps on your head and slumps over. I imagine you did that for I don't think he would have lasted the walk home. <laughs> I want to go try to sell this scroll. Okay. Uh, so you will go to Hammond on Hammonds? The Hammock District, yes. <laughs> no Hammock District. With your scroll, I need the core rule book. Have I had you watch that Simpsons episode yet? I believe we did watch what it during the last uh, okay. Simpsons night. With Hank Scorpio and the, the Hammock. <laughs> On hammock, uh, hammock, hammock on that hammock we quote a lot. <laughs> you guys work harder. Sure. There is no actual reading of regurgitation in this book, but it would be a great curse diet. When I woke up, I was here. I started fire. I seem uh, to have already appraised it or was offered money for it because I wrote down some money next to it. But I think you appraised it because, like, for a while we started, you know, we were appraising our stuff yeah. as we were checking out. So I don't know if that's helpful or not because I don't know if I appraised it well or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you appraised it well either. <laughs> I am not looking for intelligent items. Those are way expensive. Mm -hmm. Intelligent items? Yeah. Intelligent items. Interesting. They will. 
if you don't agree with an intelligent item, it'll decide what the hell you're going to do, and then you get to roll off to see who gets to do what. Nice. <laughs> I'm really liking the stuff you that we found at the Okay. What do you have written now for your price for a thousand one hundred twenty-five. It's a fifth level. Okay, so it's like the third level. Like you overlook a lot of that because it's a decent level. You don't need animation. Okay. I saw a couple of like clips of some of the fight scenes. It looks cool. It's like two hours, so it's like it's my time. Is that accurate, or have I learned at this point that I need to re-roll it? Oh, it's accurate. I just need to figure out who you're talking to. Okay. Mr. Hannon. Actually, I don't know. Axel? Yeah. He also has an understudy who is grooming to take by the shop. Yeah, it's like, they should have just been Come on, scroll with me. I guess it's easier to skip. <coughs> I was kind of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a day later now. Has anyone been to Casey Smoke Break? No. no. Have you? That's the place that has like a deal every day for like yeah. buy one get one or half off or something. And I never see women there. Are you ordering food or something? I haven't had dinner. I will join you if you do. Smoke I'm recording. All right, you take your stroll to Hammond on Hammonds, or Hammonds on Hammond, and uh, you uh, walk in, and Marissa Alkiravar is there and greets you fondly. Good day, Tessarina. How may I help you today? Good day. I am just wanting to sell this one scroll. Yes. Okay. It's a fifth level <laughs> scroll of Flaming Sphere, and I. Examine this. All right, well, since it is a scroll and the market for them is very good, I can offer you 1,000 gold. I will take it. Thank you. Very good. So you guys make the exchange. Now, you two on the rickshaw. At this point, your very bumpy ride is winding down. You've gone south through pretty much, well, first you had to go a little bit Ah, there we go. First you had to go a little bit north, and then a little bit west, and then south, and then south, or no. First you had to go north, and then a little bit west, then some of the south, and then you got way west. You guys go across this little island, which is where you fought the skin so cold, yes. into the Ordelia district. This is a far ass place. So what's the Ordelia district? Well, as you're getting into there, you're noticing that the distribution of different races increases in Ordelia, where almost all of Magnamar is mostly generally human. Okay. Spanning all different types of human, but favoring mostly Chelish descent and Varisian descent, with a scattering of Taldans and occasionally a Shawanti barbarian, who is usually about head and shoulders above the crowd. When you get to Ordelia, you notice that there are a lot more halflings, a lot more gnomes, elves walking around, some half-elves, and occasionally a human or that too. So you're telling me all the different races live across the river? Across the river seems to be in general there. Now, that's not completely true, because as you guys have been going through, there have been non-humans in other parts. Mm -hmm. For example, Justice Burial. Iron Briar was an elf, and he was also a Justice. And he was also a Right. Yeah. <laughs> but... He is a elf who was in a seat of power. So okay. it's not it's not an intentional forceful segregation, but more of a you get a feeling that they're like, these are my people, those other bastards can stay over there on that so side of the river. Like, we're gonna be cities where you have like Chinatown and Little Italy and exactly. that kind of stuff. Okay. So uh, human town is the big part. Right. Yeah. So the rickshaw rolls up to a stately little townhouse down here in Ordelia. Uh, the trappings and ornamentation on the outside are clearly favoring the elven design. Uh, and it says, He says, All right, here we are, the residence of one Threnwheel uh, Sinuiel. They don't tell you what's on anything. Don't tell what's on anything. She's a cop. Hop off. Um, 
Can you wait here for a little while? I'm not sure how long we'll be in the main need your services a little longer. Uh, some incentive would help. How much was the ride to be done with? Uh, the, uh, the gloomy guy back at the big house, he gave me uh, three cogs <coughs> silver for the trip. Here's another silver for you. Okay. You can wait around for it. Is how long is the trip? I took you guys about half an hour. Okay. Here's another silver to wait for. I give him another silver as well. Okay. Wait for an hour. We might need your services again. All right, I will just uh, trot over there. I saw a nice little drinking hole. Sounds a little good. bit parched after running you guys down here. We will come find you when we need you. All right. You guys are now at the Is there a gate, or can you just go straight up to the door? There is a gate, and then it's about a 20-foot walk to the door. Can you open the gate? Yeah, it's just one of those little swing gates. Okay. Ryan, for you it's like this tall, this tall gate, but... Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> One more. Bless you. Okay. That. Yes. Right, you guys go up to the swing, open the swing gate, go up the door, knock, knock, knock. A couple minutes later, you hear a single bolt slide, door opens, and on the inside, you are greeted by... I know oh, we have a description for this guy. Will you look under sauces yeah. and see if you can add ketchup or something like that? Some sort of fry dip. Fry dip. Oh, fry dip. Fry dip. You're I'm greeted by a elf who appears to be Barbecue starting to get on in, on a on in his age for an elf. Like the age lines are beginning to show on his brown, but brown, oh, but only just. Ranch. His eyes ranch. are still strong and focused jade green. And his hair is mostly a walnut brown, uh, though it shows some streaking of gray near the brow, and it drops down to about his waist. Very straight hair. Um, his build is very thin, kind of frail in appearance, which is not odd for an elf. But a sharp line can be glimpsed behind the eyes. He regards you to greetings. How may I assist you? Are you Thranwil Sinwiel? The very same. Did you write, not the love, did you write this book about the Golden Melody Bar? Yes, this is one of my writings. I believe I pinned this near to seven decades ago. That's, that's what I was told. My name is Daverick, and this is my compatriot Constance. I just wonder if you could maybe tell me a little bit about uh, Mr. Mr. Curtis. Ah, Ari Monstra. I didn't even have to ask you. <laughs> I have heard of you, yes. Very good. Which one of us have you heard of, though? I believe that you are a troop of six to seven, maybe eight individuals. Uh, the word is that you have been fighting with dragons, cultists, saved the Lord Mayor's life. Uh, there was a bit of a kerfuffle up in Sandpoint as well. There's quite a kerfuffle. <laughs> <laughs> and the word is, is you are not a bard of no talent. I'm not. I'm Gladly introduce myself as not a bard of no talent. <laughs> Excellent. I am myself a connoisseur of the art. Time to tell us maybe a little, a little about Mr. Kurt. Very well, please come in. And he leads you in through his entryway uh, and around a corner to a very nicely appointed sitting room. Plush uh, chairs, couches, elven shit all over the place. Not as in <laughs> <laughs> you know. All right. Well. But clearly, this guy is an elf who likes elf decor. But uh, you know, you guys quickly look about the wall, and you see that there are dozens of tomes that all are, are, have been pinned by him. And then another wall is a collection of um, various instruments of very high grade. Uh, there are paintings hither and there. Hither and Yon. Hither and Yon. Why does Jesse abuse the English like language? It. I like it. Just to annoy <laughs> Esther. Teacher and an English major. You're just making the story good. <laughs> I like it. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Um, this, does Mr. Curran still live in town? <laughs> I believe that Mr. Curran no longer lives, honestly. Really? Yes. It's according, I, I purchased your book from a Daymor Trebek, Corvosa, he's an antique bookseller. I'm not familiar with this. Happened, he just happened to 
I don't know if he just, I don't know, maybe he had heard of me as well, and he just knew I was a bard and might be interested. But in reading this book, it's spoken on magical instrument. Can you tell me anything about what sort of magical instrument that refers to? Mm-hmm. So ordered food. Oh, my French fries. Okay. Well, well, I can tell you a good number of things of Arlen Curden. He actually has uh, had performed with me multiple times before he decided to sit out on his adventure with me. You were a performer as well? No, I am um, a connoisseur of the arts. Oh. And a uh, well-known critic as well. Oh. Many of these manuscripts you see penned by myself are critiques of various shows, plays, and artists who have performed or displayed here in Magnamar. Sorry, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Uh, but Arwen Curtin was a bard of singular talent and passion. And he applied his passion to all things. His music, his adventuring, and his loving. Hey, hey. Personal experience. Uh, a little bit, yes. I mean, uh, you've lived for seven centuries as I have. You know, you tend to experience. Imagine how much you have. Not much you haven't done. Not at this point, you know. <laughs> uh, the things I could tell you. <laughs> what and his ears are getting pink. <laughs> what became of, of Arwen? Well, he decided that his lust for adventure had exceeded his passion for performance. And he and a group of four other individuals, one, two, three, four, <laughs> four other individuals, decided to set out to seek their glory. Who were the others? The glory seek them too, it sounds like. Uh, the others were a cleric of Yamade of the name of Valerina Fantona. I should write these down. Valerina. Not Valerina, it's Valerina. What can it be? Valerina the Valerina. Okay. A Shawanti barbarian. Known simply as Rock Tosser. Oh, that's a good name. Especially, believe, especially coming from The Rock. I believe he tossed rocks. Uh, very clever. A gnome arcanist of the name Bashini Lil Thumper. Lil Thumper? Lil Thumper. Little or Lil? Lil. L I L? Thumper. Okay. And an elf hunter known as Balilian. Valerian is good. Hunter. He hunts elves because they gave him such a ridiculous name. You're not there. No comments from the peanut gallery. Okay. Uh, But the uh, rumor was that they set out to seek the lost city of uh, one of the major lost cities of Thassalon, Zin Shalas. Yeah, that'd be X I N. X. Yes. Yeah, I think they'll just get fries as well. Okay. I didn't. I didn't add to it. So means. I'll give it to you. Jordan Finn. But uh, unto Arwen himself, he was a very talented musician and singer before he left to adventure. Uh, of note, he was quite impressive with his lute, which I do believe was enchanted. And do you know where one might do, do we have any clue where the city might be? Uh, no, it is still referred to as the lost city of Zinchilas for a reason. How long ago was this? The, that uh, I believe I pinned that manuscript some 73 three? Three? Three, three years ago. So it was then that they set out? Yes, uh, I believe they set out two months after I finished the manuscript. And has no one heard of from any of them since? Not here back in Magnamar, no. I mean, there was some word that they took the Yandabakari River and, are, and were rumored to have stopped in one of the three villages along Lake Serantula. Stopped. On Lake what? Serantula. Serantula. Okay, there's three villages? Yes. Long Tula. And 
I trust that Mr. Curtin would have taken this enchanted loot with him. Uh, he usually took the enchanted loot with him to bed. I don't, oh. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's a good way to stun <laughs> It's just, it's just a fist on the head. Yeah. But, you know, you should make it fancy because you're dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you speak out of character. Yeah, oh. it's, it's from Tempest it's, and Tridia. Uh, it's from the Lark Group, I mean. Awesome. <laughs> uh, wasn't that where I was? You look really cool yeah. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know that, though. Yes. Because we weren't with him when we found that out. That's why he's saying out of character. All right. Yes. What about um, my big map? Oh. Uh oh! Put it on the table! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and then what I would do is hold it there. I love my way. Drop it on the floor. Drop it on again. the floor. Poor Mappy. I'm a map by Of course, the map has less detail than the small map. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna try to chop it off. Okay, full. Full. Oh, Let's see. Uh, <laughs> so they stopped in one of the villages um, along Lake Sarantula. From there, memory serves. Very little news made it back to Magmar, you understand. But supposedly, they either continued on to Corvosa or went north along Skull River to either climb Skull's Crossing or found a way under the Iron Peaks to get atop the Stormwall Plateau. Other rumors said that they cut through the Sanos Forest to climb the Stormwall Stairs to get to the Plateau, but I know nothing beyond that. So they rumors. think that the city is in the Stormwall Plateau? Is it in Shalost? Yeah. Well, what that I is the belief. What do you think about it? I'm asking this out of character. What I know um, any of the tales about this city? Um... Only rumors and maybe like folk tales from your people. Okay. Not a whole lot besides the fact that it is a lost city um, from some ancient kingdom ages and ages ago that's made entirely of gold. Okay. El Dorado! Is, is Corvosa on the Storwall Plateau? No, it's like not. Here. It so is significantly south of the Storwall Plateau. Okay, so they either went to one or the other. I mean, Corvosa is a major city, so it's a potential stopping point you would play. Is it yeah. comparable in size with Magma? Yes, they are pretty much um, angry sister cities. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. They don't like each other? You know, they have the same mother, essentially, and they hate each other. Okay. Oh, hey. I thought I had a map that had that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this song. I have a dog face. Yeah, you do. It's that much. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Where? The Storwall Plateau is me sticking my butt in Jeremy's face. <laughs> so well, you see this bridge here? Okay, Jordan. This bridge, <laughs> everything <laughs> up here is the Storwall Plateau. Okay. It is a huge so freaking plateau. Yeah. That area. And then where's Corvosa? Um, I'm not sure if we're going to go Oh, you're so funny. Is there's Riddleport. Jesse, is Corvosa listed on here? Corvosa uh, is right here on this map, which is I can't see somewhat that. analogous mm -hmm. with your map. Doesn't so look, follow listening. this. Uh, so you got Magma, right? It's about a wolf's ear. And no, it's on the far coast. right corner. That's oh, it's like, far away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very far. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's like a little triangle. Hi. Hello, puppy dog. We need a tour adventure. Um. <clears throat> is there anything else you might be able to tell us that could be useful if we want to try to seek out Mr. Kurt? Honestly, I have no more rumor uh, to auction you. Not much word got back. I honestly believe that he and his party met an ill fate. Although it has been settling for years, so it's potential that they could have settled down and lived out their life and died old age. They were 
mostly humans after all. Do you have any information on this city? Is Inch lost? Uh, well, it's personally not something that I follow rumor-wise, but uh, you could ask any historian or um, purveyor of Thessalonian lore about Zinchilas. Go visit um, <laughs> um, the tea guy that always has the whole tea laying around. Also, my buddy. She might know. Oh, yeah. she, she knows some stuff. Um, yes. Thank you for your time. Before we go, do you think someday you might have it in your heart to write a book about a simple half orc bastard who adventured the world, killing dragons with his friends? I would first have to hear your talents in play. Like in, in concert? I don't really invite anyone to perform for private until I've seen them perform publicly first. I, I let my uh, choices prove themselves before I send them back here. Very well. But if you are ever to perform locally, I typically frequent the... Frequent? Frequent. Frequent many of the uh, local venues of music on Oath Day. When's Oath Day? It's Thursday. Okay. What day is it today? Uh, downtime. It doesn't really matter what day it is okay. today. He's so just saying when I use normal. Okay. If I send for you, we should be willing to come. Okay. Very well. Thank you for your time, sir. And any new things we, we come across, I'll be sure to let you know. That would be excellent. I would like to be able to finish my story. We'll pour over your book a little more and see if anything else jumps out of you. I guess we can move. Goodbye. It was nice meeting you. He gives you all a friendly handshake. We'll go outside. Let's go find our rickshaw fellas. What's the name of your man servant? The butler? Tell him boy. I can never remember. Guys, find the uh, the rickshaw guy. He is watering his bowl at the watering hole. It's not, water it's not hard to it's not hard to rickshaw when you rickshaw, is it? <laughs> He's not been watering himself that way. Okay, I guess yeah, we haven't been there that long. It's been uh, mostly fruit juices. Okay, with a little bit of protein powder. Should we go back? I assume we should just go back to. All right, so back it is. Yes. Yeah. Hop on, yeah. How much do we owe him for the ride back? Or uh, for the ride back, uh, you guys already threw in a silver piece. I'll just take one more silver. Um. Alright, and you guys hop on the rickshaw and get rickshawed. Straight. Mr. Morian? Yes, Um, Do you know if I could talk to you about the new creatures or. Um, extra planar creatures or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Would it be the Pathfinder Society? Or? Uh, the Pathfinder yeah. Society specializes mostly in um, ruins and exploration. That is oh. their Did you um, that name? primary mm -hmm. motivation. Yeah. Not in creatures. Not in creatures, no. I mean, no they typically perfect. come across creatures, yes, so they would not be the worst people to talk about. They might be able to know. I was at some shady bar around somewhere. You are just wandering around. Yeah. Carry your luck. Are you a girl? I spent about an hour in your course. Are they delivered? I was just selling a scroll on the hammock. Hammock district. Hammock. Twenty minutes till noon. So it just depends on the timeline of everything. From you could inquire at Dead Eye Lounge, or Lodge, Lounge. De De in I Keystone. Keystone. It is the local church of Ariston. Ariston. God of the Hunt. Ah. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I guess I'm going to head over there. So I'm going to the downtime. <laughs> all right, so you make your way sometime during the downtime as everybody's rushing back and forth. Yeah. Hither and yon. 
<laughs> and a little bit of tinnitus. Imagine it's like Scooby Doo, like coming out of the car. It's just like as we pass each other on the street, to high five. <laughs> Do I know of um, other Thessalonian, um, like any rune lords or ruins in this area that it would be of interest to me? Um. So right in Magnamar itself, the book, the one that stands out the most is the the, bridge. the big bridge that I created. The Iron Span. Yes, that thing, the Iron Span, <laughs> which has been thoroughly explored and is also kept off limits to uh, most people. There's like big guys that live at the end of the So we we'll just have to go. The rumor is that some of the columns are actually occupied by creatures. Okay. Um, so also there's also there's also there's also there's also there's also one of the reasons you would know, Tessrian, that they keep people out of it is that the golem works in town basically has exclusive rights to use the magically enchanted and infused stone in their golem creations, so it's basically a natural resource that they hog. And also, people do have an unfortunate tendency to uh, get killed by monsters there, mugged by people in their sightseeing, and then there's been more than one person who's either jumped off of it because their testicles were too big and they thought they could survive it, or what? <laughs> ego. Uh, they got big balls and they think they can survive it. Nuts get too big. <laughs> Jump off bridges. Or because they Everyone just want to go splat and and then you know not ego. So would I believe that I have the potential of learning anything new by going there? Or do I think I know everything about it? You probably at this point read several collected works on it, and so you have a good working knowledge. There are probably some mysteries that other people haven't unearthed, but again, it would be very difficult. And if you're caught, you could be arrested. So is that a, a yes or a no? <laughs> it's, it's your call. That's an at your own risk. So I do be- no, but for my answer, I do believe there are things I could still yes. learn from going yes. there. Okay. But most things I know about it already. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Since it's located right in the middle of a city, uh, it's been very well explored. Uh, make a quick knowledge history check. And I'll switch to you as you're uh, writing at Dead Eye Lodge. I want to keep saying lounge, but that's completely wrong. Dead Eye Lodge? Dead Eye Lodge. And you find Dead Eye Lodge. It's a humble but sturdy wooden lodge uh, that would look mo- more at home on the shores of a high mountain lake than the urban environment. Or like possibly near where I lived. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's home. But you know, it has a rustic look. The building isn't very large, but as you can see, it is attended by a regular throng of city dwellers who keep going in and out, as well as the um, clergy of Aristotle who are dressed essentially as hunters. Okay. So the dead, like, just to remind myself, the Dead Eye Lodge is essentially a temple to Aristotle. Exactly. What kind of knowledge did you say? Uh, history. Um, thirty-seven. Okay. I'll get to you at your thirty-seven. <laughs> um. Hello. Right, you walk up to a uh, person who is clearly a cleric of Aristotle, uh, shorter than you, male human, got a little bit of a pointy beard curly mustache thing going oh. on. Uh, Is he? No. <laughs> what? Uh, one of the no, people who do the CEUs for us actually has a curly mustache. Not that curly. No. Just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he's in leathers and a green thing. Oh, he's got his hood up. He says, hello, how can I help you? Um, you have failed this. Yes. <laughs> it's not a no. um, I'm um, pretty good at I was wondering if you guys have heard of the Sandpoint Devil. Yes, I'm quite familiar with that DC. Um, well, I didn't know if you have information on it, so I thought I should impart in case anybody has come across something similar. That way we can, you know, I don't know if it makes sense. I'm not clear as to what you're trying to explain. Um, well, we have encountered the Sandpoint Devil in the deck and have, you know, survived. Uh, Clearly, I'm, since you're saying yeah. you're talking to me, yeah. um, unless you're some kind of jabbering undead. Uh, no, I don't want to become jabbering undead. Um, so I brought some samples of 
of the Sandpoint Devil. Oh, so you killed the thing? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Most people who survive an encounter with it just run. No, we actually killed it. Um, and Yes, uh, so I pull out my journal and have like all the sketches and like the notes that of like how you know crowds in close yeah, and looking at your stuff yeah, and, and like how you yeah. attack this and stuff. Um, and also Burn for multiple days, you don't say. <laughs> this is sucked. Yeah. Um, and then I pull out the the samples of like the blood, the wings, the teeth, you know, what, what I was able to extract and get preserved by Ravanki and. Um, I don't know if this will help or if there's a way that you can find some qualities of it. Um, I think we might be able to do something with this. How about, I'll take all that, I'll give you two gold pieces for your troubles. Okay. Very well. Um, and if you if you can find any use from what I have extracted, I would greatly appreciate knowing that way. How do I contact you? Uh, you can either find, uh, I'm, I'm of the group Gloria Monstra, I don't know if you've heard of that. Spoken like a true dad, right? <laughs> yeah, um, something about, uh, some cultists down in the near Ordelia and a bloodbath, I believe, right? Uh, some, yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, you can either find us at House of Turi or, uh, take work to Sandpoint, um, at Thistletop. Okay. He uh, scratches some notes on a scroll that he just happens to have <laughs> with a little charcoal stick that he just happens to have. Yeah, so if there's if there's anything that you could find, like some kind of quality, some kind of use that we could have out of what I've been able to extract, then I would greatly appreciate it. Very well. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And then I head back to Valtteri. Okay. This is a random thing. Is this a, a spell or a hex? Quicken spell? It's not a spell or a hex. Quicken spell. It is a meta magic feat. Feet. Okay. I wrote a note to get it, but I, then I didn't remember what it was. This is a meta magic foot. No, that's very good. Okay. Thanks. Now it's a meta magic foot. Ah! <laughs> okay. It's a stinky foot. Otherwise, 37. You cast stinking clock. Okay, uh, you're trying to learn what you know about the Irish man? Was that what the 37 was for? I mean, you didn't tell me what I was rolling it for, but around that topic. Okay. <laughs> she 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 could, if there yeah. was anything new she could learn from it or something to that effect. C1, the Irish man. I don't know what you were thinking when you told me to roll. <laughs> Page 47. Ah, oh, part of this section that's highlighted as secrets of the Irish span. Wow. Okay, so one thing that you would know about the Irish span is it was a bridge that uh, historians believe com- connected the Thessalonian um, realms of Bakrakan, Bakrakan, yeah, and Shalast. They, uh, all the pilings that are still remaining, each are decorated with a different creature. There's a crow, a fire pelt cougar, a gecko, a gull, a harpy, an osprey, a rat, a salmon, a shark, and a whale. What are these? The Irishman pilings. Oh, okay. I rolled a 20. Yeah. Not in battle. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it is rumored. Just when I'm having sex or learning about this, <laughs> things are most most important to me. It is rumored that um, the piling that is decorated with the osprey, um, not rumor, is that it's used as a library and a storage place for records by the Church of Abadar. The rumor is that it's also a secret prison maintained by the Church of Abadar. Um, Spanish Inquisition kind of stuff? Yeah, that's the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. Avatar is the church or the bank, right? Yeah. It's, also a, it's a religious order, too. Though. Well, yeah, I know. He is the god of cities and commerce, basically. Okay. Not like the big dwarf god. No, no. that's uh, Tor- Tor- Torag. I almost said Tordal. I'm like, no, that's not Tordal. Not yet. <laughs> Nothing too good. Um, 
word is that the gull and the rat pilings are used, are partially inhabited by the Skarzarni and other criminal elements. Uh, They're like the mafia, right? Yes. The gecko and shark pilings are rumored to be haunted. Okay. Um, but so there is definitely some activity that's going on in these pilings. Some of them are being used by local living people right now. Uh, there's also um, known that there are abominable monsters known as Shrezix that are ravening spider legged things that dwell in many of the pilings. I don't know that I have a picture of a Shrezix. I mean, if I had the Pathfinder book that Erica and Perry still have, I could show you one because it's right in there. You still have? <laughs> yeah. You what still have the fifth one. one. Oh. What are the, the spider things? Yes. What are they called? Shrezix. 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 Can you go up to the bridge but just not in it? Yeah, you can go right up to the mouth, mouth of it. But uh, it is regulated how who can go on to it. Okay. So you can kind of go all around it? Yeah, and you can definitely go under it because under bridge, which is where the tower was that you guys fought. Yeah, that's uh, the Zanisha. real, like, seedy part of town. Yes. That's like the dirty, seedy part of town. Uh, it's right that's under the bridge. Okay. 